Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for my first video since the full release of Football Manager 2021 and in today's video I've got a treat for you. It's a long one but it's a very good one. I'm going to show you guys how to create your entire fully custom club within Football Manager 2021. Take it into whatever league you want at whatever tier not just like the creator club mode that the game offers you itself and the main way you do that is by using the pre-game editor so let's jump into it so then to start things off you need to find yourself the pre-game editor if you are doing this on Steam, these are the instructions for you. If you're trying to do this via the Epic Games Store, unfortunately at this at the time of recording, I don't actually know how you go about accessing the pre-game editor via the Epic Games Store. If I have found a way, it will be linked as the pinned comment in the description in the future. So you've opened up Steam like I have here, click on library and you will be given all of the games that you already have installed on your machine. What you need to do though is go to this drop down here where it says games, click on the drop down and tick the box that says tools. This is where it brings up all the tools that you will need to edit things in Football Manager. As you can see, once you scroll down to F as it is in alphabetical order, you will see the Football Manager 2021 editor. Now, this is where you need to install this on the same drive that your machine is installed in. Um, I've had to, if you're using a storage device like I am, I've had to move the install onto the storage device so that it matches where the database for Football Manager is stored. So you install this and then once it's installed, hit that launch button. The editor will open up and load up the initial database. I'll just let this run whilst I'm talking to you guys. As you can see, the FM2021 editor is a powerful editing tool that allows the user to modify the Football Manager 2021 database. This is exactly what has happened here. It has loaded the database. Um, now, for you guys to create your own custom club, what you need to do is you go into clubs and then you click add. It is basically as simple as that. Then you can go through and reveal and tidy up all of these options. There's so much. If you look at this panel on the left hand side here, there's so much that you can do within your own club. You get a unique ID, which will be useful for logos and kits later. But I will get through to that once I've tidied up everything and shown you all of the assets that you can change in the database yourself. I'll be back in just a few seconds to show you what I've done. Okay then guys, we are back with the new club in the database of Hood Gaming. We have created our fully custom club. <coughs> Excuse me. We've been through and created everything. And now I will show you all the steps that you need to do to get yourself into the database. So you've created your club. One thing I will say though, guys, if you are looking to replicate a certain team in a certain division bear them in mind and kind of work alongside that and copy their attributes sort of thing i'm going to be in the vanarama national league south replacing bath city a team that i used last year in fm20 for my starter from the bottom series so we are going to replace bath city this time out and uh, yeah, this this is basically what this club is has been modelled on. So you've obviously got your names here, um, the short name, the six letter name, all of that's good stuff. Um, the nickname, if you want to give your club a nickname, you can. I have chosen not to. Uh, so the hashtag is for the in-game um, social media screens. This is the hashtag that will be used that you can uh, take a look at there. Um, is the club extinct? Our club is not extinct. If you click that. It's a bad thing. Your club will not will be in the database, but won't be playable. Uh, then you select your nations. So obviously I am based in England. If you want to manage in other nations, naturally, you can just set them to whatever country you want your club to be based in. So we're based in uh, based in England. Continental Cup nation is also England. These will default uh, once you select England as a nation. Then if you go into the city, you can say where you want your club to be based. I want my club to be based in Bristol. That's where I'm based and then it defaults the local region to the southwest. That is used for scouting purposes. Next up, you have the colors of your club. 
So the background color is when you see your, your team, um, the background color is what is in the background. And then the foreground color is the, the text that sits on top of this. So for instance, if you are Liverpool, the background color will be red and the foreground color will be white, giving you a white text option. You then select the year that the club has been founded. Obviously, I am founded in 2020. What year, eh, guys? Um, status, uh, we are going into the National League North South, so we are going to be a semi-professional club. Moving down, you have morale. Um, this is uh, leveled from zero to 20, depending on how high your club is in terms of morale. If it's zero, you've had a really tough time. If it's 20, you've probably just won the league like Liverpool um, and things are going pretty well. I don't want it to be too high or too low, so I've opted for 10, a smack bang in the middle. And then the reputation is uh, kind of what what is expected you know it's, it's sort of where your where your club lands in the entire footballing landscape across the world as i said this is based off of bath city so i've copied bath city's reputation of 2650 um, as you can see at the bottom here this is where the little like note section goes i guess reputation is done from zero to ten thousand. so your clubs like your barcelona's your real madrid's your manchester united your liverpool's your top your top upper echelon clubs are going to be in the higher realms of that obviously we're going to be a semi-professional club in the sixth tier of English football, hence our reputation of 2,650. Um, I've also set up the scouting package to have as the own division, but just at the senior level. Now you can go into the reserve teams and set up reserve teams if you wish. I've set up a under 23s team and a under 18s team. This is easily done by just clicking add here. It'll pop another one in and then you can select which level of team you want. If you wanted to have loads of um, loads of youth, youth teams, under 18s, under 19s, under 20s, you can kind of have all them. Um, I personally don't. I just want a under 23s team and a under 18s team. Then we move into the ownership section and I've opted to have a chairman as opposed to a president, general manager or founder. Um, as I said, we have copied Bath City. So we are going to be member owned via elections. You have all these different options here. Um, election day, I'm going to leave blank. Promises, you can set a promise from your chairman um, for new players, more money, prom promise promotion, promise a new stadium, that sort of thing. Um, we are setting no promises right off the rip. As we are going to be a member owned um, thing with elections to find our chairman, we're going to say that the max length of a term that they can be chairman for is two years. However, they can serve up to 100 terms, not that anyone is physically capable of doing that. But if your team is doing well and your chairman's doing well, everyone may just re-elect the same chairman and they can just keep running over and over and over again. Um, minimum and maximum turnout I've set at 100 because if you're getting fans to vote for your chairman, you want 100% of the fans to vote for it. Um, you can, if you wanted to, stop outside takeovers. I personally don't tick this. If you, if, if the FM gods deem that you want, you get a takeover, then definitely uh, that's a bonus for me. So I always leave that one unticked. Now then we move on to the stadium. I have created a new stadium for us, the Hood Gaming Stadium. Now you can do that here guys by going up into this main menu here, clicking back onto database. You go down into stadium and then just like you did with the club, hit add, come up with all the, all the great stuff about your stadium. Um, so you get the unique ID again, you name, city, geographic location, who the owner of it is, whether it's club owned or not. Um, then you can set the seat color, you know, is it a training ground, the capacity, expansion capacity, what the pitch is, the dimensions, you can, you can basically do all of that good stuff. We've set up the Hood Gaming Stadium and linked it, of course, to ourselves. We've set up the training ground as the University of Bath, only because it's one of the best sporting facilities in my local region. And I don't know the name of any of the other training grounds in the vicinity. Um, if you are, for instance, in the London region and you want to use Chelsea's, you could obviously put Hobham in here, for instance. Um, so within the stadium, we've got an attendance of 10,000, a maximum attendance that is of 10,000, minimum attendance 1,500. Um, again, this is where we've copied Bath City. So we set up the training level, youth coaching, youth facilities, youth recruitment, and youth importance. Uh, so we've gone 10 for training facilities because the Bath Sports Centre is pretty impressive. Uh, and then fives all across the board. As I said, we've copied Bath City for this particular save. 
Um, these are the levels that when you ask for new facilities, this is what it's based off of. So currently they range from minus one if you've got literally nothing to 20. Um, so this is where you go in and you can kind of see what you want your facilities to be and how good you want things to be at your club. As I said, I want this to be as realistic as possible for my experience. So we will be following the 10 and the fives in these sections. Now then, now we move into the finances section, the one that is where it's entirely up to you how you play your game. Um, I personally like like for the realism. Um, so again, I've copied Bath Cities here. So you can set your transfer balance um, and the transfer budget as well if you wanted to. I just set the overall balance within the club. Uh, you can set a transfer budget, a maximum wage allowed per player if you wanted to. Uh, you can also say a remaining player wage budget per week if you want to set that as well. If you want to give yourself a uh, sugar daddy, you can do either in the background or foreground or a underwriter. Um, you can select either one of those. If you want your club to be in administration, you tick this box. We're not touching that. If you want to set a transfer embargo for your club, you can do that as well. Stadium rental per year is zero because we already own it. Again, the match tickets I've copied from Bath City. So it's £13 for a average match ticket price and 220 for season ticket holders. And a number of season ticket holders we've set at 350 um, Again, you can kind of customize this however you want. Then we move into the other incomes. Again, I've copied this from Bath City. I'm going to say this a lot in this video, I feel. But I've set up a general, uh, two general sponsors, a kit sponsor, a short sponsor, and a back of shirt sponsor. Again, for small, various amounts. Um, I, what I've done is I've set them up as a single year um, for the end date. You can go in and you can change this, obviously, by clicking change, and you can change your end date there. And I've set it all to renew the income at the end date um, so that we can move forward and get some new sponsors at the end of our first season. Personally, I've not added any debts or financial fair play records or buybacks, sell-ons, appearance monies, monthly installments, wage contributions or season ticket cut matches because we are a fresh club. We don't have any of that. I've not added any players either. Um, so that is basically where we sit. Competitions, I'll come back to that one at the end. Um, club vision, you can set your own club vision basically. So you, what I've done here, as I've said, I want to play possession football and the importance of that, they range from minus 10 to 10 in this section. So make sure if you're doing this yourself, you take note of the uh, scale at the bottom. So this is set between uh, minus 10 is they really don't care about it or positive 10, I guess, and they really care about it. So I want us to play possession football. So that's why that set is a five. And this one is don't sign any players over X age. And I've set the max age to 30 years of age. And I've put an importance of that of 10. I like investing in youth. So that's where I'm going with this save. Um, then you can also, uh, oh, basically to add a new one here, you just click on add. It does the drop down and then you can basically select anything you want. If you want to play um, entertaining football, counter attacking, you know, you can kind of set up everything here. If you want to give yourself a really tough challenge, set up, sign players of nationality. And then you go, yep, OK, we want to sign players from just add condition name contains Germany. Sign players from Germany, Central Europe. Bang. So then you can only sign German players. If you accidentally add something that you want to remove, just click on it here and click remove. In terms of technical attributes, I don't personally change these. Uh, these are the preferred shapes and formations and stuff. You're going to change this when you go into the club anyway, so I completely leave this blank. Supporter profile is copied again from Bath City. Uh, so this is how your supporters view you. Um, again, these range from 0 to 20, just like the attributes do in Football Manager when you look at players. Um, loyalty, passion, patience, affluence, temperament, and expectations. Um, obviously, the higher some of these are, the higher the loyalty, the better, you, the more likely they are to get an affinity with you and obviously stick with you in the long term. Same with um, passion. However, if you set the expectations at 20, don't forget you're going to have supporters on your back if you are not doing what you ex are expected to do. Contract types. Um, as we are all part-time and youth, um, this is what I've set up here. So all, even our star players are on part-time contracts. Same with all the staff here. Uh, manager full-time because that's going to be yourself. And then the assistant coaches, fitness coach, goalkeeping staff and youth team coaches are all going to be on part-time contracts. You can kind of set that here. You, if you want them to be full-time, you can just tick full-time in the drop-down section. Then we move into kits and colours. 
Um, I will explain this a little bit more in further detail later on in the video, so I will come back to this. However, if you want to dive in and change your kits, you can do so by clicking on the home kit here and you need one of these each. So shirt, icon, text, shorts, and socks. If you go into the shirts, for instance, you can change the design of the shirts by clicking the change button on the right hand side and you can basically customize your kits as much as possible. This is how they will show in game. I've gone for a vert uh, vertical double pinstripe on mine. I think that looks quite smart. Um, but I've also changed the back of the shirt to be plain because if it's the same as the front, it looks a little bit difficult to see the number. So I've just gone plain on the back. Background and foreground are the same as the club colors. So the background of the kit is the black and then the foreground is the white vertical stripes. Same with the outline and the color number. Again, pretty self-explanatory. You need to do this for the shirt, the shorts and the socks. Again, you can change the design of the shorts and the design of the socks here by clicking the change button and, and basically playing around with the colors. The text is how you see the text commentary at the bottom of the screen. So again, background color for me is black on the home kit, foreground color is white. And if you play in 2D, I know there's people who do play in 2D even to this day, I can't, but I know there's people that do. You have to set up what your icon looks like. Um, so again, background color for me is black, outline color is white, and the number color is white. Again, you can do the same for away kits. Uh, these the home and the away kits are automatically there for you so you just need to go in and change them if you want to add a third kit like i've done with this orange kit here you can definitely do that um, but make sure you add in the type section you need to have an icon you need to have text you need to have shirt shorts and socks as well so make sure you get all those done as well then we move into the staff and players section. Now, I've not put anyone in here. I want to fully create my own staff. Once we get into the game, I want to see who's the free agents and I want to alter, I want to populate my whole team. Um, if you did want to add coaching staff, let's say we wanted to add in... Oh, Zidane uh, as our assistant manager. Uh, you go into here, you add a condition, you search by name. You search Zidane, Zinedine Zidane, for him. There he is, non-player. Okay, and then we can say we want you to be our uh, first team coach. There you go. Or you can go in like that and uh, amend things that way. Um, we're not going to have Zinedine Zidane as our manager, uh, assistant manager, or first team coach. I think that's quite unrealistic, so we will remove him. You can do the same here for other members of staff in the scouting team and in the medical team. And again, in players here, all you need to do is click add, add condition, name, and then search for their name there. It's that simple. So I'm going to cancel that. Then you go into relationships. Um, I've added a rival club of Bath City. Um, these, this is the club that we're going to have a fierce rival rivalry with. However, because you're going to be taking their spot in the National League South, uh, you won't be able to play against them. Um, so I've added them in here. You just click on add, then you get the name here, and then you just go into the search. Again, as we've done previously, add the condition of name and then search the name in there. Okay, guys, so now we're going to talk about competitions. I've already added our team into um, the National League South. So what you're going to do is once you've created your team, figure out who you're going to take the place of. So you go into the database tab in the menu section and you go into competitions, add condition again, search by name, National League South is where we're going to be going, Vanarama National League South. You click into the division and then you click on teams. Now, as you can see, we are already in here, Hood Gaming at the Hood Gaming Stadium based in England. Reputation's all set, the balance is set. Transfer budget's not been allocated yet. That will happen once you get in game. But what you want to do is you want to pick the team that you want to replace. So for instance, if I wanted to take out Chippenham Town, you would go on and select them, then you select swap then add condition name and this is where you put in your own club name however let's swap Chippenham Town out for Bath City for this instance so we've done that there and then you move forward um, again teams is very self-explanatory and then basically guys you are ready to go into game and take a look at your club however if you have custom logos for your club and custom kits this is the most vital important bit for you guys so stay tuned for that
So now you're trying to sort out your club logos and your club kits. I'm going to give a personal shout out here to FM Custom Kits, who's produced the kits for this video and for this save that I'm going to be doing in my own time. He has done a fantastic job with basically little to no guidance. I basically asked him for three kits. I've given him the kit colors. I've told him what I want the sponsors to be. And I've also told him what I want to um, the manufacturer to be and he has basically done the rest and designed these fantastic kits which i will show you once we are in game if you want to change your club crest though this is where you need to go so open your documents here go to sports interactive go to football manager 2021 and then you go into the graphics section I already have a logo pack installed. If you want to find out how to install my logo pack, a video will appear as a card right now. But the uh, link to my logo pack is in the description, guys. So if you can go and download that, then you have normal and small versions of your logo. The normal version is 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And the small icon version is 20 pixels by 20 pixels. So if you use my logo pack, you will see the normal here then you go into clubs and as you can see here guys we have all the club logos in the game um it's a big boy it's a big old file but then as you can see here the hood gaming logo is here and the number that is contributing to this is our custom club id that we saw right at the start of this video so if you download my file you will see this config file in here you right click on it you press edit then this is the line you need to add in. So it's very much in uh, in, in in comparison to the to the other ones. Um, so you need to do this uh, open bracket record from, and then you put in the number here for your club. So this is where it's telling the images to populate in the game, and then you're telling it to look two equals open uh, and then close the open the bracket. Sorry. Um, graphics pictures club and then this is the file name here so just for ease of use I have made the file name for this logo the exact same as the unique club ID um, so it's trying to find this fi this file loads it up and then that is the logo now you need to do the same if I go back you need to do the same for the icons as well as you can see there's an abundance of icons in here as well but the hood gaming one is just the same there you open up this uh, config file and much the same again you do the exact same it says the exact same thing but at the end it says icon instead of picture so then we move into kits there is the exact same thing for the kits i've got my hood gaming kits here they are this is where you'll see them kind of small um, but again with the config file um, FM Custom Kits has done the did the config file for me, so I didn't need to do anything. All you need to do is provide him with the unique team ID from what you've created, um, and he will do all this for you and he will deliver this as you can see it on the screen. All you need to do then is put it into your graphics folder into kits. So that is all the hard work done. Let's get in game and I'll show you what you need to do to boot up the database in FM21. Okay then guys, so now you are ready for the in-game section and you need to load in your database. So what you need to do is you need to click on start a new game here. You press the career button, then you need to make sure that your database is loaded. So when you're met with this screen, go up to the database drop down on the top right hand side and make sure that the database file that you have saved is ticked here. You click confirm, you go into advanced setup and it loads up the game database in-game for you. For the ease of this save, I'm just going to make sure the Vanarama National League North and South are in there um, and no other nations to make sure my game speed is as quick as humanly possible. Um, then you need to click start game. You have selected six leagues, one nation, and a large database. Actually, let's change that from a large database to a small database. Click start, start the game, and then the game will boot up and then you will be able to pick your club. I'll be back once I am ready to pick my team. So then guys, the game has loaded up. This is my manager. I'm just going to use this profile for ease. Then you get into the section where you are able to pick your team. So I'm going to go into here, into the drop down, into England, into the Vanarama National League South. As you can see, Bath are in there, but so are Hood Gaming FC. Um, predicted to finish 19th. This is not the worst. Um, we are a semi-professional club as we set up. 10,000 all-seater stadium of the Hood Gaming Stadium. Finances are okay. Average training facilities, basic youth facilities based in UK and Ireland. The club culture is there. Play possession football and do not sign players over the age of 30. We will confirm the managerial style. I'll just select this based on the level of Bath City. We'll hit confirm. Start playing. Then you're going to have to save your game. In you go. 
hood gaming and hood gaming higher hood as you would expect click next it's a little bit of a breakdown of the team as you would expect um, as you can see the logo is loaded in superbly as has my kits which i will show off to you guys in a second we have no team to report on because we have no players and again this is the club vision that you've already set up the club culture of play possession football and do not sign players over the age of 30. you click next and you click confirm you get asked to save your game which i will do right now and then I will show you guys what the kits look like. So as you can see, the badges have loaded in here. This is the larger one of the two, the 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And then if you go into the National League, this is the smaller one, the 20 pixels by 20 pixels one. Now, if we go into the club vision, uh, club info, sorry, you can see everything here. These are the amazing kits again, brought to you by FM Custom Kits. Uh, the home kit, as you can see, Jordan, Hook Gaming logo, and then YouTube on the sponsor. Same with the away kit of uh, white Jordan logo again, Hook Gaming logo, YouTube there. And then this lovely saucy little uh, orange number for the third kit, should we need it. Um, as you can see though, guys, everything has come in as you would expect. Finances are all sorted there. Next election date is the 20th of December. If you go into the squad, we've got no squad. This is where you go out and you pick up whoever you want to be in your squad and very much the same with the staff here. We've got two coaches. I assume they're gonna be new gens. Yes, they are. Um, so you can go in and replace all of those as well. So guys, that is everything for this video. If you do have any questions or comments, please do put them in the comment section below. I'll be active once this video goes live and trying to address all of these issues that you do have. If you have anything big or small, please do get in touch. I am willing to help you guys. I want you to have the best experience on FM21 as humanly possible. Just a little bit of a shout out to myself. I will be streaming over on Twitch. So make sure you go over and check me out on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash hood gaming UK. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video though, guys, don't forget to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here for daily football manager videos. I'll be bringing out a lot of content this, uh, this game cycle and hopefully I'll catch you guys on another video.